Good day watch fans and today I'm going to talk about my perfect three watch collection on a budget. So, my perfect three watch collection on a budget. Now I'm going to be talking of watches up to about 12-ish thousand pound, maybe slightly more dependent, 12 to 15 we'll say. That's going to be the budget, up to 15,000 pounds. Now, that is a, quite a modest collection amount, not in total, but for each watch. So, for, you've got to think about for your three watch collection, you need something you can wear day to day, a daily wearer. Number two, you need something that is for going out for special occasions, for black tie events, to wear with a suit. Number three, you need something that's a little bit flashy. Now, my first one I would be buying now as a daily wearer would be a Rolex Submariner or a Rolex Yachtmaster. I think I would have to go Submariner. I'd probably go the black classic black Samarina and this now could be in all three of those occasions you can wear it going out you can wear it daily you can wear it dressing up you can wear it dressing down but my sort of day-to-day -day wearer I'm going to pick is a Rolex Submariner now if you wanted it to be a little bit flashier you could obviously go for a two-tone bluesy but I'm picking the black sub Number two, a dress watch, something I could wear now to a black tie event. I could wear to a wedding, I could wear to a suit, I could wear to a business meeting. Now, I would personally be picking the Cartier Tank. Now, I think this is quite sleek, elegant, and I think it's very subtle on the wrist. Now, it's a lovely watch, but personally, I think if I'm going to wear a suit or a tuxedo or a dress, not a dress, wear a dress watch, I might wear a dress, but if I'm going to wear a dress watch, I would wear a Cartier Tank. Now, the final one, and this is the one I've had to think about. Now, one that's a little bit flashier, one that's a little bit sort of uh, blingier. Now, on a budget, this is quite hard because you haven't got, obviously, access to diamonds and things like this. But I would be going for, I'd probably go for a date just. Now, I'd go for a two-tone Jubilee date just with a chocolate dial, potentially with the diamond, obviously, our markers but i might not go diamonds but i think a chocolate dial date just with the jubilee two-tone is sort of like a little bit of a fancier watch a little bit of a statement piece you can wear it dressing up it wouldn't be a daily wearer but you could wear it out and it sort of looks great on your wrist now obviously i want to hear what your perfect three are so in the comments tell me your perfect three daily wearer dress something that's a bit fancy now i will be doing a video on my favorite expensive ones world's your oyster and obviously we're going to go all out on that and we could pick anything but on a budget i know if we add them up so if you're looking at a potentially a black sub even if you went for an older model say we're looking about 10 grand if we're looking now at the cartier tank so again about six thousand pounds so that's 16 we're looking at. And then if we add on top the date just, we're going to be looking about 12 to 13,000 pound. So what do we say? 10, 16, 26. If you're looking at all of that now, it's going to be about 28,000 pound or below 30. Now, when you think that's the price of some watches, that's not bad to get your perfect three for any occasion. Now, if you didn't have the money to get three, if I had to buy one, Again, it would always be the black sub. You could buy that and wear that for anything. But they're my three. Let me know yours.